Welcome to Indian Laboratories Forum. Now we are learning about Clause 7.3 of ISO, IEC, 17025, 2017. General Requirements for the Competence of Testing and Calibration Laboratories Hope you have learned up to Clause 7.2. If not, please refer our previous videos. Clause 7.3, Sampling The laboratory shall have a sampling plan and method when it carries out sampling of substances, materials, or products for subsequent testing or calibration. This particular clause demanding the procedure for sampling. Laboratories involved in sampling activities are required to have a sampling plan and sampling procedure for specific products or materials. The sampling method shall address the factors to be controlled to ensure the validity of subsequent testing or calibration results. The sampling procedure should have details of factors that need to be controlled during the sampling. For example, temperature, humidity, pressure, lighting, sterile containers, sterile areas, sterile equipment, etc., will be based on the product and type of testing for a specific product. The sampling plan and method shall be available at the site where sampling is undertaken. The sampling plan and method should always be available at the sampling site, along with the sampler, which helps the sampler refer to the procedure and perform the sampling activity without any deviations. Sampling plans shall, whenever reasonable, be based on appropriate statistical methods. Laboratory when preparing the method for sampling of specific products, these points should be considered mandatorily. The sampling method shall describe The selection of samples or sites It means, details of how to select the samples, from where samples should be collected. The sampling plan It means, details of how many samples, from how many sites should be collected. The preparation and treatment of samples from a substance, material, or product to yield the required item for subsequent testing or calibration. It means upon completion of sampling, if any specific product need the treatment, or immediate sample preparation for further analysis, those details should be available in the sampling procedure. The laboratory shall retain records of sampling data that forms part of the testing or calibration that is undertaken. These records shall include, where relevant, reference to the sampling method used, date and time of sampling, data to identify and describe the sample, such as name, description, number, quantity, etc. Identification of the personnel performing sampling. Identification of the equipment used for sampling. environmental conditions, or transport conditions of samples. Diagrams or other equivalent means to identify the sampling location, when appropriate. Deviations, additions to, or exclusions, from the sampling method and sampling plan. All these details should be available in the sampling record of the respective sample and these records should be retained as per the laboratory-specific retention policy. Takeaway from Clause 7.3 The laboratory should have a sampling method and plan, those should be available at the sampling site with a sampler. The sampling method includes procedures for sampling and, where relevant, statistical calculations for arriving at the number of samples collection, details of sample treatment, if any. The sampling record should be available for each sample for which the sampling was performed. Those records should be retained as per the requirements. Sampling record with details essential for sampling, testing of samples and reporting of results. Examples of non-conformances as per Clause 7.3 The laboratory is performing the sampling activities for the X products, 
but does not have a sampling procedure with the details of the sampling plan, sampling method. The laboratory is performing the sampling as per the released report, but no evidence of sampling is available. Laboratory is not retaining the records of sampling as per Clause 7.3.3. During the review of the sampling record of X product, it has been observed that sampling has been performed by an unauthorized person. Hope you enjoyed learning about the requirement of Clause 7.3 of ISO IEC 17025 2017 and examples of nonconformances as per Clause 7.3. Please like, subscribe and click on bell icon for regular updates. Thank you. Happy learning.